few exciting new capabilities were announced along with Zenarmor 1.12, specifically for MSPs and enterprises. Today, we're going to step away from the usual Zenarmor on-prem deployments, and we're going to look towards the cloud. I'm going to show you how we can use Zenarmor as a secure web gateway as part of a secure access service edge or SASE architecture, and how we can use it to monitor and control cloud egress traffic. Let's jump straight in. If you've been following my channel, you've likely seen some of my previous videos covering the Zenarmor Next Gen Firewall and how it can easily be deployed via a plugin on your OpenSense Firewall. Today we're going to explore some of Zenarmor's enterprise capabilities and how we can use it as a secure web gateway or SWG at the cloud edge to monitor and to control cloud egress traffic. Before we continue, I'd like to thank this video's sponsor, Sunny Valley Networks, the creators of Zenarmor. If you'd like to try Zenarmor and the great security that their product offers, sign up for a generous 15-day trial, no credit cards required, and explore the Business Enterprise Edition of Zenarmor for free. Zenarmor has multiple pricing tiers to meet everyone's budget and feature requirements, ranging from free to small office, home office to big business and enterprise. I've put a link in the description. Try it out. The installation takes less than 10 minutes and it can be deployed not only on OpenSense, but on most popular Unix-based distros, including Amazon Linux. So you're probably thinking to yourself, what is a secure web gateway? In order to understand where a SWG fits in, let's look at the difference between a on-premises deployment and a secure access service edge or SASE cloud deployment. In a traditional on-premise deployment, Zenarmor lives on your OpenSense or similar firewall and all the traffic originating from your LAN heading towards the internet is inspected and filtered. On the other hand, when we use Zenarmor as a secure web gateway, we're moving our security stack away from the on-prem data center to the cloud edge, allowing us to inspect and filter egress cloud traffic as it leaves our virtual cloud network towards the internet. Secure web gateway solutions like Zenarmor are described by Gartner as a solution that filters unwanted software or malware from user-initiated web internet traffic and enforces corporate and regulatory policy compliance. These gateways must at a minimum include URL filtering, malicious code detection and filtering, and application controls for popular web-based applications. So you may be asking, what is Secure Access Service Edge, or perhaps better known as SASE? Well, SASE is a concept coined by Gartner in 2019. In response to the work from anywhere or work from home approach, a lot of organizations have begun to adopt, which unexpectedly became the new norm for a lot of organizations when the world was hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. This diagram is a depiction of a typical solution that some organizations may have adopted where they force all their branch network and remote worker traffic via the HQ's data center, essentially backhauling or hairpinning the traffic via the security stack implemented in the DC. This can work, however, the overall user experience can become degraded, introducing latency issues, and it can become a manageability and security nightmare for network administrators. This poor user experience may also tempt remote workers to circumvent the VPN uh, to rather connect directly to SaaS services, in turn leaving those users and your enterprise unknowingly vulnerable to cyber security threats as they go about their day-to-day -day business. So this is where SASE comes in as depicted in the diagram. All the security stack and services are moved to the cloud edge. Instead of a traditional VPN, a Zero Trust Access Network, or ZTNA, is used to give users limited access to the resources that they need to carry out their jobs, based on least privilege principles. There are also other elements to SASE architecture, like Cloud Access Service Brokers, or also known as CASBs, Data Loss Prevention, etc. However, in this video, our primary focus is going to be on the secure web gateway and the benefits of using Zenarmor to filter egress cloud-based traffic as part of the SASE architecture. 
To make this concept easier to visualize, I've created a basic SASE demo architecture to try and simplify this explanation, which includes Xenarma SWG on the cloud edge. In addition to this, I've included some internal virtual machines simulating some workloads, and to provide identity and access management, I'm using Azure AD with Azure Active Directory domain services to provide single sign-on. Zenharmer has also been integrated with Azure AD so that we can assign users and groups to our policies created in Zen Console. This allows us to filter and control traffic uniquely on a per user or per group basis. To bring in zero trust network access into the solution, I've used Zero Tier to build a private overlay network, which has been integrated with Azure AD to provide SSO. When a user connects to the network, they'll need to provide their Azure AD username and password and go through the multi-factor authentication process to join the Zero Tier network. Zero Tier also provides a rule engine which allows us to control traffic flow within the overlay network. So for each connected device, we could use a policy to only provide access to resources that that individual user needs to carry out their job, which further satisfies least privileged principles. This video is just a demo of Zen Armor's enterprise capabilities, and I'm not going to show you step by step how I set this up. We'd be here for hours. However, if you'd like to attempt to replicate something like this at your own pace in your lab, I designed this to be almost free with the exception of the $5 that you'll need to spend to enable the SSO features in Zero Tier. Azure has lots of free services and includes $200 for you to spend on sign up. And the same applies with AWS if you'd like to attempt a similar deployment there. There's plenty of free services that you can access without any costs. So let's consider the following scenario based on this network and the benefits of using Zenarma SWG to filter the cloud egress traffic destined for the internet. We have virtual servers running our internal accounting and engineering department workloads. These servers don't need access to any internet resources other than the update servers to download periodic updates. The first benefit of using Xenoma SWG in this case is we can easily create a policy in Zen Console to control this process by essentially blocking all traffic except traffic to the approved update servers. The second benefit of this approach is let's imagine these servers were compromised by a threat actor. Because we're blocking all other traffic, the threat actor won't be able to leave the network or set up a reverse shell or call home to their C2 infrastructure or even exfiltrate data. The third benefit by using least privilege and zero trust principles in this network architecture is that we're able to limit the threat actor's ability to move laterally through the network and we can minimize the impact or the blast radius of any damages caused. The fourth benefit of this approach is that Zenarma SWG has a comprehensive reporting feature built into it and it has the ability to view real-time connections. In this case, we would be able to easily observe the egress traffic, helping us to identify any unexpected traffic trying to leave the network, giving us some insight that the server may have been compromised. Let's consider an alternative scenario. We have remote workers accessing the cloud network resources using the zero tier overlay network. Once they've signed in using their Azure AD accounts, each user can access the internal cloud resources needed to carry out their work based on least privilege access principles. All the users egress internet traffic will also be routed via the overlay network through Xenarma SWG. The benefits are that all the cloud egress traffic coming from the user's device can now be inspected by Xenoma SWG and users can benefit from the real-time threat protection against zero-day malware, ransomware, phishing attacks and botnets while leveraging Xenoma's deep packet inspection and AI-driven cloud threat intelligence. This is a far superior means of providing security to remote users 
in comparison to them connecting directly from their home mobile or public networks which in most cases has little to no security like in the previous scenario we can easily create policies for users and groups based on their ad credentials group or ip address and we can control their egress traffic using the granular web and application controls offered by zen armor ultimately eliminating websites and apps that are not deemed appropriate for the workplace or are against general company policy. In addition to this, by leveraging Zenarmor SWG's comprehensive reporting and real-time connection viewing capabilities, we could easily identify the applications leaving the gateway and we can use this as a means to identify any unapproved or untrustworthy applications that the users may be using. This is known as shadow IT and from the user's perspective may seem innocent. However, from a security point of view, ideally we don't want users utilizing apps and services that have not been properly vetted and pre-approved by IT. So that's all that I wanted to show you today. You should now have a better idea of how Zen Armor can provide you with an agile, software-driven approach when deploying a secure access gateway to control and monitor your cloud egress network traffic. If you haven't done so already, sign up for a free 15-day trial and easily have access to the enterprise-grade security any way that you may need it, basically on any Unix-based platform. No complex licensing or expensive appliances. A single Zen console dashboard to manage all your SWG and firewall deployments and security policies regardless of their location. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support is always appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.